Yo. Hello. 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 Not sure if you can hear me. I think so. Looks like the microphone is working. What is up this afternoon? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you're going to hear the freaking blowers outside. They're cutting grass and blowing out across the street, I think. Pretty loud. We're right, right next door about five minutes ago, but... Ah, shit. I just dropped my... Uh, I just dropped my charger. Hold on. Oh, man. That one. Okay. I think we're good. Oh, what's up, Mary? What's going on, lady? Oh man, I got my, I got the fresh air. Now we didn't catch anything. Nada. I had one, one little bite on a hot dog. That was it. Besides that, absolutely nothing but beautiful weather and. What Billy said? I thought I had more. 220 pounds. Wow. I thought I had more than 220 pounds. Wow, Billy did good today too. <clears throat> yeah, nothing biting, Mary. But it was it was beautiful to be outside, I'll be honest. It was gorgeous out. Uh, we just got back, I don't know, half hour ago. Times at 3:30, half hour, 45 minutes, something like that. I came home. Um, made a fresh ham sandwich. I was hungry. I didn't eat. Um, I, didn't, I only ate breakfast. I didn't eat lunch. So I came home, made some lunch, and um, had some fruit. And now I'm just hanging out for a little bit. Yeah, it was a good time. It's always a good time. We hang out with pops when we we're fishing. You know, we hung out, threw the lines out. I was had a rod. I was like straight up and down. I was jigging. You know, trying for like bluegill and stuff, but nothing around yet. The water, I told you, the rivers were running pretty hard. I had like a three or four ounce sink, no, three ounce sinker on the catfish rod, and that was barely holding bottom. So it needs a little time to go down, a lot of rain. It's supposed to rain the next couple of days, so it's going to get even worse. But it was a day outside and get out of the house, get some fresh air, some vitamin D, you know. I'm just glad I felt good enough, you know what I mean, to go out and do it, so. It was good. It was definitely good because, uh, you know, a couple of days now I'm into my treatment, you know, so get some nice fresh air in my in my lungs, and you know, hopefully all that shits out of my body now. Hopefully, I mean it's only Tuesday, so usually it's like four or five, you know, four days, five days, depending, and then I start feeling a lot better. But today I felt good, so I mean, not good, but you know what I mean, better than than I did. So I washed clothes and went to the store. What's up, Rocco? What's going on, brother? Wow, Billy got a lot of fish. He did good. Yeah, he did good. He got a lot of fish. That's awesome. He needed a good day, so he needed a really good fish day. So that's good. 220 pounds, I think he said. There he is. <laughs> I'm texting you, and you're in there. Duh. What's up, bro? I just texted you right back just now that I was live. I was like, nice hole. What's going on, bro? Yeah, I just got back a little while ago, a half hour, 40 minutes, something like that. I was just telling Mary. Nothing biting, man. I had one one little hit on a hot dog. That was it. Just so you know, bing, one little tap, and that was it. I tried hot dog, and then I brought some uh, fresh ham. Stood on the hook pretty good, but no hits on the ham. The river's just raging. It's just a... Uh, uh, I had four ounce sinker on and was barely holding bottom. It was uh, it's too much rain. Now it's supposed to rain the next three days, so it's we're not going to be able to fish there for about a week. 
which is fine. Like I told Pops, you know, we're going to ease back into it, you know, go today and then we'll, we'll wait a week, let this rain come through, let the river go back down to normal and then we'll fish it maybe next weekend or something the following week. It looks like you did really well, Billy. I'm happy for you, bro. But exhausted. I, I figured the first word out of the next sentence was going to be the word exhausted because it looked like you kicked some butt out there, man. I'm sitting in my booth. I don't care about the flies right now. I'm sitting. <laughs> Good for you, man. Get some rest, bro. Sit at the booth. Smoke stogie. Relax. Cup of coffee. You'll be ready for bed in a little while. That's good, though, man. I know you needed a good day out there, man, and that's good. I'm happy for you. <clears throat> a change of scenery does a body good. We had such a good time yesterday, laughed and carried on so bad. That's good, Mary, you know, and that's even with me, you know, just even though it was just me and Pops, it's just still, it doesn't matter, man. It's just, it was, I were out sitting on my favorite milk crate on the river, just chilling, you know, it's beautiful out. The sun was hot. I mean, really hot. I'm down here now. I told you, my my it's a basement a basement apartment. It's cool down here, like cool. Like I'm ready to put a sweatshirt on. I'm like, damn. Ah, you're live now. Okay. If you check your text messages, Mark, you would know that. <laughs> I text you. I, I answered you back if those pictures were from today that you sent me. If you were catching carp today, thought it was a little early for carp, but um, I said I was gonna be live three thirty. was commenting on your other live I was watching. <laughs> That's funny. So anybody else fishing down there? Nah. Nobody else fishing. There was uh, the kids from the high school. They do the um, the rowing. I think that's what's called rowing or whatever. And those long rowing boats. I don't know. They do it for sport or whatever out of the one high school. They, they, they kept going by. And then there's a guy in a boat behind them. Then there was another boat that went by. Um, like a research boat or something. I don't know what they were doing. They just said, oh, you guys catching stripers? We're like, nah, we haven't caught anything. And they tied up to the to the pier, well, to the dock, and then we tried down the other end, came back, and it was gone. Don't know where they went. So, Did you use minners? Nah. I used a hot dog and ham. Nothing. I had one one little, I mean, it, it was four ounces to hold bottom, Mark, in the Pacific River, down by me in East Rutherford. Four ounces. It was barely holding bottom. So my, my rod was, you know, bent like that the whole time, even with a four-ounce sinker. And then out of nowhere, just like this, boom, one, boom, bink, just like that, bink, and didn't hit it again. That was on a hot dog and then nothing for almost two hours. I was jigging down below. I had uh, some of those mousy tails that I used for trout because I was I was catching smallies with it last time and bluegill, red breast. It, the water's too cold yet. and it needs a little more time, man. So just the water needs to warm up. We need a couple days of this 70 something degrees, you know. I think it got up to 73 or something like that, I think. My dad said it was beautiful, gorgeous. Sitting in the sun, it was it felt great. Hitting it in the back of the neck. Just really, really nice. Felt nice, really. It was nice to be out. But now I'm back home. So I'll get back to the inside of my basement for a couple of days. <laughs> But no, we didn't use any minners. Now, next time, I told my dad, I said, next time, if I feel just as good as I did today, we'll go down the creek and see if we can get some minners. And then uh, we'll try the minners down there. They're good down there. The, the catfish love them. Channel cats love the minners. That's for damn sure. They love the killies, man. They, they go berserk over them. Yep, still too cold to water for sure. I had zero confidence today. Got lucky to get two. Oh, that was from today. Okay. You got two carp and a yellow perch. Cool. Where'd you fish? <clears throat> two hours in before that first fish. Fished for four hours and got sunburnt. Yeah. Hey, Crystal. How are you? Cooked like a damn raisin. I'll tell you, that sun was hot, man. It was only like 70-something, but I mean, not even high 70s, slow 70s, but that sun was hot. And you were on a lake, it looked like anyway. Where'd you fish, bro? Nobody else is going to know in here but me. <clears throat> it's good to see you, Crystal. It's been a while. I haven't seen you in a minute. Seen you in a couple other chats, but I haven't seen you in here in a while. I'm gonna give you a wrench, just so you're you're all wrenched up. I'm all wrenched up. He was fishing the industrial cesspool. That's that's where I was fishing too. If that's where we're at the same place. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Billy is made of leather. He don't. I can't see that. I just made her a mod so that little comment came up. Oh, there we go. Billy is made of leather. He don't burn. 
Oh, when you're in that sun long enough, you get, you, you, your skin gets like leather, yeah. Pine Cliff Lake, West Milford. Oh, okay. I've, I've heard of it. I never fished it. But cat's got the raccoon eyes, not me. Oh, wow. That's what I was thinking, Pompton Lake, because that's what uh, me and Billy were talking about that the other day. The, uh, the industrial cesspool. Sake River cesspool too, definitely. Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better for sure. But I'll tell you, when that river's hot down there, where I fish, Mark, it's better than any lake in New Jersey, in my opinion. We do very good. We catch pike, we catch pickerel, we we got uh, catfish, carp, three different species of catfish, um, pike for sure. We get them in the summer. Smallmouth, largemouth, yellow perch, white perch. Uh, white crappy, black crappy. We catch them all, man. Everything in that one same spot I fish, man, all summer long. It's amazing, really. It really is. It's a great spot to fish. It's just, they just, you know exactly where I fish, I think. I don't know if you could like pinpoint it to where I'm at, but you have an idea. Every fish, dude, you got them all. It's just, it's just a great spot, man. I don't know what it is. It's just they hold in that area for some reason, like that, that parking lot but it's like we call it a dock but the, that dock for some reason holds a lot of fish right along it like straight down my mom used to catch fat catfish after catfish straight down on hot dogs man back in the day i get all my bluegill smallmouth largemouth crappy everything straight down bro on the dock straight down it's good structure down there there's a lot of different pilings in the water too like they just they love hanging out there man they just i don't know it's a great spot there's no reason to go anywhere else on the river to be honest it's just, we catch everything right there. Broke down and took an Advil. Hope it takes the edge off. It should, Rocco. I hope you feel better, Papa. I'm taking the edge off right now. There you go. I did too. I came home and I came home and I took the edge off too. <laughs> My back was screaming. Between sitting like this, going live for two hours, the way I sit like this, lean forward, doesn't do no justice on my back whatsoever. I don't care how many pain pills I take. It hurts my back. And then I was sitting exactly the same position on the friggin' milk crate down the river. Happy early birthday, 420. Happy early birthday. Whose birthday? So is NJ. Feed off of the bodies. What are you uh, what are you celebrating, uh NJ? What are you drinking, martinis? Scratching Wolf, what's up, brother? What's going on? I stopped by to say hi. I always try to give you a like. I just haven't had free time to stay in chat. I stay in the bushes. Oh, that's cool. Thanks, Crystal. I appreciate it. What's up, Wolfie? You working today, bud? That was a successful day for everyone, it, it appears. It's a beautiful day, then. Thank you, Lord, for giving us all a great day today. Appreciate you, and I love you. Thank you. Everybody went out, came home safe. We're all happy. Yeah, I'm at work, bud. Okay. What's up, June Bug? June Buggy, June Buggy. Good afternoon. What's up, sweetheart? How are you? <clears throat> yeah, it was just nice to get a little, little fresh air, you know, get the, get the fresh air in my lungs, man, get out of this basement for a while felt nice to be outside it really did really 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 nice to be outside man i miss it just having a rock just to have a fishing pole in my hand man. i missed that that was awesome in itself celebrating my first carp since last year felt good good man that's not nothing to just laugh about man carp fight awesome bro i would love to catch a carp toddies for billy hotty toddies we likes the potty that's the ticket. Exactly, Rocco. Just get out and have a nice day, man. Felt It felt really good. Really, really did. I know how much you guys are like, you know, not pushing me, but like saying, go, go, you know. I'm, I'm glad I listened to you all. I mean, I can't be scared forever. I was just scared because of, you know, what happened to the supermarket, passing out and shit. Like, that shit tore me up, man. It really fucked me up. I'm hurting my French, but it messed me up in my head. I'm scared to go out and do anything, man, but you can't live like that, you know. That's why I said that that he was shocked. He goes, when I texted you said you want to go fishing, and you were like, heck yeah. He was like, I was like, wow, man, he's pumped. I was like, yeah, man. Come on. 
I might be sick, but I ain't dead yet, man. I love fishing. I just wanted to make sure I was going to be all right. That's all. Toddies. Yeah, you messed up, NJ. It's so funny calling you NJ because that was my channel before. It was NJ, NJ Scratch Family or NJ Gerald. Was, that's what my name was for so long. So when I hear people calling you NJ, I'm like, yeah. And I think they say talking to me in the chat. <clears throat> hey, pretty whiskey. Uh, pretty whiskey. See, I said it. I did it again. My bad. Pretty, witty, and risky whiskey. What's going on? How has today been for you so far? It's been good. I actually, um, <laughs> I, uh, I, went, I went out fishing with my dad for an hour and a half, two hours. Got a little sun. It was nice. Didn't catch anything, but we went out. So it was really it was nice to get out. I'm glad, I'm glad we went. Did you see my fluke fishing videos from when I first started my channel in 2020? No. I, if I did, I forgot, dude, really. I mean, I, I looked at your channel a bunch of times, but my memory is shot, dude. Okay, time to make a toddy. I'm making hotty toddies, bro. Don't you make those like in the wintertime when it's cold? <clears throat> say, I, every time it happens to me, man. I always say freaking pretty whiskey every time. Pretty, witty, and risky. Say that five times, bro. That ain't easy. I had a GoPro better videos, Mr. Toddy. You um, well, you don't have a GoPro anymore. Pretty witty said, "Hello, Rocco Del Negro." That's awesome. I've always wanted to learn to fish. I don't know anyone personally that knows how. Really? You throw the line in the water and wait. That's what NJ does. He doesn't know how to fish either. He just throws a line in and gets lucky. Sometimes. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you, Marky Mark. I know you're a good fisherman. Would you get the carp on? I'm curious. Because I know you don't use that pack bait, I don't think. Just sit there and cross your fingers. Yep. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Rocco. What did you catch the carp on, bro? Mr. Mr. Hotty Toddy. Mm. Oh, you did do the mix. Okay. Strawberry corn, and I chummed with three pounds of cornmeal and cream corn. Six cans of regular corn. Wow. So what, you use that, that metal thing that you pack it up? And then you just have a, a hook with a fake piece of corn on it or something, right? You know that you know that started in Europe somewhere. I think they sell those setups in uh, Timu, believe it or not. They, I'm going to buy it one day. I'm going to see if they have them. I want to try it. It's, I think it's hard in the Pacific River to where I'm at because it's tidal where I'm at. It's better in the lake for that stuff. I don't think it'll work in the um, in the tide. I don't think so. Anyway, you think it'll come off the hook? It'll come off that thing. Too easy. Thirty dollars worth of bait. You should have just got a six dollar box of Wheaties. There you go. Yeah. He said thirty dollars worth of bait. That's funny as hell. Yeah, uh, probably close with that number too. Three pounds of cornmeal. Six, seven, eight, nine cans of freaking corn. That's a lot. Dude, all you got to use, if you're fishing in a lake, I'm telling you right now, all you need to do is take a loaf of bread, white bread from the supermarket that's super fresh, bring a thing of honey a little bit, put a dot in the middle of the bread, and then mix it up really good, make a nice fucking bread ball. You'll catch carp all day long on just that. Or like vanilla, like not vanilla extract because it'll make it like too soft, but you use like honey. Honey's the best, really, because it makes it sticky, too. They just make it into a ball, put it on the hook, and I'm telling you right now, you'll catch carp like crazy. You'll catch catfish. I've seen that work. I want to try that system. I really think it's it's pretty interesting, but I know in a lake it's a lot better. 
you cast it out and you lose it on the first cast. Uh, I don't know what that um that stuff he does. No, it usually stays on, but it all depends on how you make it too, Billy. Like it's, I've seen uh, anything. He uses it a lot too, and uh, it comes out great. It sticks on there great, really. And then when it hits the water, it just—I know you know what it is. It's the water, and it just starts, you know, dispersing, and the carps come over and eat it all, and then they finally eat the fake piece of corn and game on. Pretty, it's pretty interesting, really. I mean, but for the for the amount of money you're spending, I mean, I have to agree with Billy. To be honest, it's too much money to, for all that shit. But I just rather use a bread ball. Scratching the wolf. What did wolf say? Pretty weird whiskey. I'm okay. It was pretty PO'd at someone overnight, but over it now. Other than that, as close to a hundred as I can be. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, hope you're all right now, Wolfie. Method feeders, yeah. Our hair rigs, too much work. And hair rigs, too much work. Method feeders. Isn't that what it is? That's what you use, though, isn't it? That metal thing? Chum with cornmeal mixed with cream corn and toss corn out on your hook and close it. Oh, that's what you do? I thought you did the method feeders. But why would you waste all that other bait? That's stupid. Don't just throw out corn. They're going to eat it. I wonder if you know my brother-in-law. Who are you asking? Me, Rocco? Talking about the bait, yeah, that's what I'm talking about too, Billy. The uh, method feeder, or whatever it's called, that that bait cage thing. You press it all, it should press it on there. It doesn't come off if you if you make the mix right. Yeah, Gerald, something happened in SK's live and situation got to my nerves. I'm uh, sorry to hear that, bro. Hopefully, it all gets better for you. All right, Rocco. If you're going to use just bread. Roman meal. Roman meal? Roman meal. I don't know if I ever heard of that. But we used to just use whatever, man. Whatever you went down a bread aisle and got the cheapest loaf of bread. Even like the honey wheat is good. You'll catch catfish on the honey wheat. They like the flavor. He's a professional fisherman. Oh, okay. That's cool. I think I I think I mentioned that to you, Rocco, that I, I was watching, like, I don't know if it was Bass Masters or something, one of those, and um I saw the name, your last name, yeah. I don't know if you're related to him or not. What's up, Karina? Who's Mrs. Miko? Who's that? Mrs. Miko? Who's that in my chat? I don't know who that is. Karina is? No, oh, I've never heard that before. Okay. That's cool. Plain corn has done me good for 25 years. Yeah, it does. Like I said, we used to catch them on corn all the time, but bread or even Italian bread, they take a loaf of a good Italian bread and put the crusty part, put a big hook to the crusty and float it. Float it in the pond. Carp will come right up, suck it in, and it's game on. We used to do that all the time. And Jay Fishing Maniac, how are you? Focaccia bread. Do you fly fish upstate New York? He gives trout nightmares. No. I don't fly fish upstate New York. I don't fly fish really at all, Rocco. I have it in years. I did it a few times here in Jersey in a couple of um, really, really good trout rivers where I've caught fish. I mean, even as a, as a beginner, I caught fish. Just it's a fly fishing only river. But. Do you fly fish in upstate New York? He gives trout nightmares. Yeah. I don't I don't I'm not I mean I'm not into it. I was into it back then. I would love to try it again. I, I think it's something I would like to get into later on in life when I get older, if I make it that far. To just uh enjoy the uh, I don't know, the the hunt, if you will, a little more. That's why I love using lures. Like I like bait when they're not hitting anything else, but if they're hitting bait, I mean if they're hitting lures, then 
to me, it's more fun. It's like you're on the hunt, you know, trying to find that hole, trying to find that log that's laying underwater and get that five pound brown that's sitting underneath it with a spinner, you know what I mean? Or a Phoebe or something or whatever, you know what I mean? It's just different than using bait. But fly fishing is, is cool. I'm just not into it. This complaint was, when do you think you're going fishing again? I don't know. Uh, right now, we're going to get a lot of rain in this couple of days, so at least a week, if not more. Got to see how I feel. You know, First day, I felt halfway decent to go since I had my treatment Friday. So, mm -hmm. Phoebe's, Castmasters, Rufus Tails, Meps, Panther Martins. Yeah, exactly. For trout, that all works, yeah. I like uh, small little Rapalas. I love. Jared, do you like Seinfeld? Yeah, why? Rocco said he's a Zepco man with the with the button. Press the button. Makes that sound. Marble rye. That'll probably work for catfish too. Marble rye. She went and stayed at Mako's, and the name Mrs. Mako started to roll around, though we all know she wanted to be Mrs. Jacobs till he messed up. I don't know about any of that, Wolf. And I have a feeling I don't want to. Me and Billy love it. I'm a little obsessed, though. Oh, what, it's Seinfeld? Seinfeld's all right. I've been watching it in a while. When George catches the marble eye. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember, you know. I watched it years ago. I don't watch it now. I mean, I watch. I told you what I watch. My TV's on it right now. Ion. That's all I really watch. Ion and wrestling. That's it. And YouTube. And that's whether I'm working or not working. So it's not just because I'm home. That's what's on my TV 90% of the time. Ion or sport game or wrestling. WWE Kane, the big red machine, Jacob Glenn. Glenn Jacobs, not not Jacob Glenn. It's Glenn Jacobs, you knucklehead. <laughs> I watch Seinfeld, Dateline, and YouTube or sports. You go watch that movie tonight, Jay. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try to watch it tonight. Sure. I got to find it. on. I got to see where I can find it. First of all, you gave it to me on the phone. I don't want to watch it on my phone. I want to see if I can look it up on, um, well, what you sent me on my phone, was that a movie that I can actually watch on my phone? I gotta, I gotta hold on. You can go watch a movie. Great movie, Out of the Furnace. No, he sent me the movie um, with Jerry Lewis. No, that's a... Uh, it's on YouTube. I sent you the link. But is that is that the movie on YouTube? I can watch the whole movie on there? Oh, you said hook, line, and sinker. It's free. Okay, yeah. If I can watch it for free, I'll watch it on YouTube. Yeah. Cool. I'm gonna, I want to watch it on my um, on my laptop or on my TV. Because I put it on my TV, I can just go to YouTube on my Fire Stick, and I can watch it on the big screen. That'd be even better. How long is it? Yeah, I got it now. I just I just pulled it up. I just you know I want I wasn't sure that the link you sent me was just like a, a part of it or whatever. You know what I mean? But if it's the whole movie, then I'll I'll do it on my um on my laptop or on my TV through the Fire Stick. <laughs> You're still commenting, Mark? I just got one now. It said, "Laugh my ass off." A lot of minners here in the. What did you say? <laughs> You're talking about Joe Cola. He said a lot. Billy, NJ puts a comment on the thing. He goes, laughing my ass off. A lot of minners here in the creek. What are like 17 smile faces? I remember Joe Cola. My dad used to drink tons of that shit when he picked up me and my sister for the weekend in the 90s. Oh, he cracked me up, bro. An hour and 20. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah, I'll watch it for sure. I'll give it. I'll give it a. I'll give it a college try. Good afternoon, Scott. What's going on, buddy? Good to see you, man. <clears throat> How are you doing today, Wolf? Somebody would like to know. Oh, Mrs. Hot Mess would like to know. Hook, line, and sinker. That's it, right there. 
And everyone watching, Karina, Hot Mouse, I'm okay. Someone pissed me off overnight, but I'm okay now. Overnight or last night? What happened, Wolf? Doing good so far, thanks. And how are you doing today, my friend? I'm a good, I'm all right. I actually just came back, uh, I don't know, about an hour or so ago fishing. I went out, I went out for the first time since October, since I uh, since I got sick. Went and sat, sat outside for two hours and didn't catch anything, but uh, it was nice to be outside. Nice to get up, have a fishing pole in my hand. Very, very cool. Fun for sure. Yeah, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably go watch it after here, Billy. Believe it or not, I'm gonna uh, once I get off of here, I'm gonna go make some uh, bowl of soup. I think I don't know. I have a half a box of pasta. I might, I might, I might make some pasta tonight. Be my pasta cheat for the week. But I'm not sure yet. Anyway, I'm just going to go eat dinner, and then I'm going to probably chill out. I'll go lay down and see if I can get it on the big screen. That'd be even better. I think I could. I think I have uh, YouTube downloaded on the Fire Stick. I'd rather watch it on the big TV. That'd be awesome. Well, if that's what happened when you work for the public. I want some potato soup. Uh, I have, like, enough for one bowl left. That's it. For me, and I gave the rest away. I had one. I have no, I didn't. No, I did not, Billy. I wouldn't use no way. Mm -mm. I thought it's funny because I said that to my dad. I said, You know, I wasn't using my fucking Taylor ham to go fishing. He goes, I know that. He goes, And that would be stupid. I said, Listen, if it was a different time of the summer and the catfish were hitting, I said, I would have grabbed the piece for sure, but not now. I knew we weren't going to catch anything just the way the river was. I knew it. I ain't wasting my tail ham. Hell no. I have one container put away in the freezer, pretty witty, from uh, from my friend. I, I didn't feel good over the weekend since my treatment, so I didn't get to see her. So I told her, I said, I froze it for you. We're going to get together maybe Friday or Saturday. I don't know. It took us about four pounds of shrimp to catch all them fish. Wow. That's really not a lot of shrimp, really, right? I mean, I don't, I don't know. What's what's the usual amount um, for that amount of fish though? That would that would be the best way to tell. For me, that doesn't seem like a lot of shrimp to catch all them fish. I don't know. You caught a lot of fish. It was funny. I, I was saying it to my dad. Uh, I can wait until you get back a hundred percent better because you have a balance with me. Where's my catfish fish for climbers? <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you talking about a balance, man? I was like, what are you talking about? What kind of balance? You're talking about a fish, right, Karina? No other balance, right? I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Um, what did you say, Bill? You made me laugh, dude. I said it to my dad. Uh, um, shit. Oh, shrimp are cut up. Oh, okay. No, you said to me before beforehand, you said, enjoy yourself, Gerald. We're working on 250 pounds. Be done about 4 o'clock. And then at, uh, I don't know how long it was, maybe 20 minutes later. No, it was one 159, so it was actually two hours early. All he sent me, NJ, was, we go home now. <laughs> I read that. I started laughing. My dad's like, what? I'm like, look. I showed him the picture. He's like, oh, shit. He must have whooped some ass there for, for a little bit. You did good, man. He just made me laugh, bro, because you said, oh, I'll be done around four, and then it was like 15 minutes later. Like, we go home now. And I saw the picture, and it made me laugh my ass off. It all depends on if the piranha are there, a.k.a. pinfish. Okay. I want my catfish nuggets. You ain't eating the fish out of that river, honey, I'll tell you that right now. I'll still catch you a catfish, but we got to throw it back. Yeah, that water's dirty. I wouldn't eat anything out of there. And I'm supposedly, supposedly one of his favorite channels. Wait, hold on. I missed everything. Scratch it off my bed. Let me go back up. Well, I don't know who was watching, but I was on SK's live for 45 minutes. Say hey and interacting with chat. Block the troll. SK didn't even acknowledge me until Julia brought it up 45 minutes in. And I'm supposedly one of his favorite channels. But it, it, <sighs> All right. Let me address this the way I can. The only way I'm going to do it, uh, Wolf, is this. And I'm not getting involved because it's none of my business. And if you know me, that's me. I don't get involved. The only thing I can say in anybody's defense is he his chat is always crazy and going by. And if he missed it, 
if I, if I was you and you feel that strongly about it, I would leave a comment on there and be like, listen, bro, I was trying to say hello to you during it. And he'll be like, listen, bro, I didn't see it. I'm sorry. You know, he's a good dude, man. I don't want to say nothing bad about him because he's not, he's a great guy. And uh, if he just missed you, it, it happens, man. I was there one time for two hours. and didn't even say hi to me once. He just didn't see me. It happens, man. He had like 600 people in his live the other day, last week, or whatever it was. You know, so it's sometimes it's hard, bro. But, you know, you, you're going to take it any way, you, you know, you want to. So that's why I'm not going to get involved. But, you know, I hope you figure it all out. That's all I'm saying. Because I like you. I like him. You know, both good guys. So um, I've always wondered when the fish are swimming in the river, do they wear a rain suit? <laughs> that's funny. We had enough and it was really windy. I hear you, bro. You bet your ass. If we stayed till four, we would have had 250. Yeah, I bet. I bet. I bet. I mean, you, you did good. I mean, that's a lot of fish. I mean, I like I said, I don't know. Like, I'm talking out of my ass when I even say that. Like, oh, you did good. I, I don't know. I don't know what six hours of your fishing details, you know what I mean, of how many you should get and stuff like that. So, but it looked like it. I mean, you had a lot of fish. They looked good, you know. But for me, I'm happy for you that you're catching them, so you, you're making money, bro. That's that's why I look at it. That's all. Karina, we're going. There you go. Go fishing with pretty pretty whiskey. You bet your ass. We stayed till four. We would have had two fifty. What happened? I just had eleven people here, and fucking like five people left. And what happened to Junebug? She was here. And she just bounced out. She came in, said hi, and left. She does that a lot. I don't know why. But I don't get mad. It is what it is. You don't want to stay. No worries. And Mary, too. What happened to Mary? Mary, where'd you go, Mary? You were like one of the first ones in here, and then I don't see you anymore. I don't know, Gerald. It seemed pretty deliberate. It was enough for Julia and Bean to notice. Really? Did you like, were you like going out of your way a few times to like say, hey, SK, what's up? Like with the highlighted and everything? Oh, hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Did you like. You know what I mean? Go out of your way to say like a hi with the highlighted at, you know what I mean? If that's the case, then who knows? I don't know. I mean, I don't know any else, anything else beyond that, Wolfie. I don't know, man. I wish I had a good answer for you, but I don't know. I'm getting ready to take a power nap for about an hour, maybe check in on Countries Live. Who knows? Need a diversion away from pain. Am I causing you pain, Rocco? <laughs> he said, I need a diversion away from the pain. I'm sorry. I know you're kidding. Have a good one, brother. I'll talk to you later. If not, I'll see you in the morning. I'm folding clothes and listening. Cool. Yes, G. Anytime that box is full, it's good. That's, that's what I figured, brother. Yep. I think that's the first thing you told me the first time when I asked you about fishing. So when those boxes are full, that's a good thing. So I'm happy for you, man. You could sit at that booth and be happy you made some dough, man. I'm, I'm happy for you, really. I like him, but with it seeming deliberate, I was consistently all caps and yeah i don't know wolfie be honest with you bro i, I don't want to, like i said i'm not going to get in the middle i don't want to make comments because then that can get back to me i'm just going to say this you know i know you're a good guy i know he's a good guy so hopefully it works out for both of you what's up florida profit hunter i'm here for now got to do laundry in a couple i got you man what's going on we went fishing but didn't catch anything bro we went for like two hours me and pops had one little one little one little pink like just like that Think on a hot dog. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing ever happened after that. Um. Yes and no, Scott. I was outside. I was live. I had a bunch of people, and then everybody left because it was like their time in their area. And then it was just me and FPH sitting here for a while last night. But uh, it never. It just got a little bit dark. Not even really. It was kind of like underwhelming, to be honest. But it is what it is. If I see someone is live and I'm not able to stay, I at least pop in and speak. Yeah. I try to, too. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just be creeping in Profit Hunter's lives. But that's, you know, if I'm not feeling good and shit, I don't want to. Because then you got to go in and say hi to, with, like, everybody. And, like, sometimes I just not, you know what I mean? And I'm sure everybody gets that way. Sometimes you're just not in the mood to do that, you know? And I'm not one to say, oh, blanket, hello. I hate that. I, I don't like it. Bean does it all the time. And I, I don't get mad at him. But I don't like to do that because he just seem like an idiot i don't know i don't know i don't want to say it like that either it's just like i don't know how to say it i talk about it in my lives all the time that's what we do we go we jump from one stream to another from one to another to another to another and all we do is say hi to each other all the time 
that's why I like mine that people come in, we hang out. Like I got 10 people here. We come in, we say hi, we talk about whatever. It's not just a hi, hi, hi. When, when you got 400 people in the chat, it's hard, dude. It's hard. It's just everybody saying hi to each other like you did 20 minutes earlier in somebody else's life. It just becomes repetitive, bro. And I don't know. I'm not into that anymore. I hang in the closet a lot. I come out of the closet. Pretty whiskey. Bring some whiskey with you, too, and get, get a little risky with your whiskey. The sunshine here for a little bit here in North Carolina, but still didn't look at it. Yeah. I know Plasty was out there. He said he had his welder's uh, shield on. He said it was all right, nothing crazy, you know. Said he got about 90%. Uh, so it was kind of cool. Giga. Giga. What up, Giga? My, my fellow says to me before, he goes, uh, he goes, I didn't know that uh, your buddy there uh, gigs for the uh, fish that he catches, all the fish he catches. I was like, no, man. I said he uses a fishing pole, bro, and a piece of shrimp. I showed him the video like a week ago when you sent it to me. I showed him and he forgot. He's like, oh, I thought he told me that he gigs all his fish. I'm like, no, not true. He said he probably told you that he gigs and then he fishes. But yeah, he, my dad decided to put it in all together. I sent you. You didn't send them to me, FPH. That's what I said to you last night in your live. If you would listen to you, read your chat, you would know that that's the wrong number. I text you from my new number last night. And I sent, I said, this is Gerald. Please send me more pics. And you never did. Unless maybe you thought I meant, you know, nudie pics or something, but I didn't mean that. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding with you, bro. No, I did send you though last night. Look at my dad. My dad blabbing to my sister. My sister just texted me out of nowhere. That's so awesome that you went fishing today with dad. Right, thanks, dad. I wanted to tell her myself. No, do you? If you do, I'll send, I'll give you my new number. <laughs> All right, flower, 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 flower. I didn't get anything yet. I don't have your number. What, you going to send nudes? All of a sudden, everybody wants my number. Everybody wants to send nudie pictures. And NJ, don't get no ideas. You ain't sending me no nudie pictures, bro. You text... 727 number? What? I don't know, bro. I went to the number you gave me, man. What the heck are you talking about? How do I know? I don't even know how the, How do I figure that out. Let me see. No. 813. <laughs> Did she really say that? That's funny as hell. <laughs> Yeah, area code, 813 I got. Oh, okay. So then we got the wrong number. That's why this is not working. Okay. So I have to delete that then, right? Jeez Louise. How many numbers you got, man? Shit. No, delete. Delete conversation. Yeah. All right. We'll figure it out. All right. We'll figure it out. I just got rid of that channel. So, I, I mean, whatever you're – whatever. whatever. I, I don't want to deal with it right now, FPH. I'll send you an email. We'll figure it out. You have more phones than the White House, bro. Every time every time you give me a number, you're like, nope, not that one, the other one. Nope, not that one, the other one. It's like the fourth time, I think. Cat said Gerald has an OnlyFans. I really don't, but maybe, it, maybe I'd be able to pay my rent if I had one. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty ugly, so it wouldn't work out that good for me. We'll work it out, though, FPH, bro. No, no worries, bro. I don't know what your email is. You want to put your email in the chat? If you can put your email in the chat, I'll write it down, and then I'll email you. Then you can then you can send me your number that way. Mm. Oh, that's all it is, Florida Profit Hunter. Florida Profit Hunter at Gmail. All right.
right. Coolio. Gee, your glasses are going to fall off your hat. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Thanks, Mary. We'll take them off there. Good call, Mary. I didn't even see it. Nobody else knew that, huh? Only Mary. See, Mary's the only nice one in here. What am I going to do with you people? I have an eyelash appointment. Have fun. Have fun, Junebug. I'll see you. Thanks for popping through. I appreciate it, darling. I know, Gerald. FPH has a lot of numbers, almost like a dealer. <laughs> That's funny. Julia Tech's Huntress. There you go. All right, FPH. So I'm going to send you an email right now, okay? And then you send me an email back with your cell phone number. So then we can move on from all of this and uh, get it right, finally. And then the number you send me, I was going to go on my phone. And that's the last one. And it came right up. Subject. Phones with an S. That's what I put on the subject. Phones. What up, Stephen Scratcher? What's going on, brother? All right. My cell is actually just I'm going to give you my cell number, which I don't know what that is either. That's that's great. We got to start over again. All right. Hold on. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Mine's new too. <laughs> we both got new phones. Oh, mine's not new. Mine's old, actually. But it's not old. It's not new. It's a government phone. It is what it is. Make fun of me. Go ahead. I don't care. What's my phone number? Come on. You can do it. I just, I just started remembering my phone number from the one I had for three years. I just started remembering that from the top of my head, and I had to start over again. <sighs> Sucks. I'm telling you. Don't get old, man. Don't get sick. Start forgetting all sorts of shit. Where am I at here? Bloop, 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 bloop. Lotto dealer. <laughs> ticket plucker. Florida ticket plucker. Plucker, plucker, picker, plucker. What am I doing? Back to emails. All right, start over again. Now I have to put in FPH again. Comes right up. Beautiful. Subject. Phones. My cell is not sure. Uh, should I put this as Gerald? This is Mr. Mr. Lottie Dottie. He likes to party. Okay. All right, email sent there, Big Chief. All you got to do is send me a, a text message now saying it's you, and then I'll put you in. I'll add you. And uh, we'll do this again in a couple of weeks. Sounds good to me. What did Karina say? Please stop talking about numbers because I have a gambling problem. <laughs> we all do. Not much about to cut the grass. Cool deal, man. Karina, that's all I talk about. Yep, that's true. He's always he, – dude, it could be Monday. It could be Thursday. It could be Sunday, Saturday, Easter, Christmas. It doesn't matter. But Passover – Florida's like, I got to go uh, pluck some tickets, bro. I'll get back to you in a little while. doesn't matter what day it is. He's plucking tickets, period. Every day, all day. Holiday, East, doesn't matter. It's true. What did I miss? I missed a bunch of chat, I think. Let me go back up here. I didn't want them to break. Oh, my glasses. Thank you, Mary. I just saw that. What up, all? Steven. I saw Steven come in. Uh, you didn't forget that boom last night. No, that was awesome, bro. I brought that boom last night. Who are you kidding, FPH? Yeah, stop bullshitting yourself, bro. Oh, I plucked that. Yeah, okay. 
I called that shit, dude. I said that was coming. We need a let's fucking go. You did a let's fucking go. And what happened right after that? You hit for $500, bro. What is up? I know the deal. But you did pluck it, so I'll, I'll give you some credit. Life is a gamble. It's very true, Mary. That is very, very true, my friend. Shout out to the eight folks in the chat. 13 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. So that means we had 13 people. That's pretty cool. Let's fucking go, he said. Okay, so now I have to... See, you know what's crazy, bro? This is crazy. So you're in here already because it came up. See, I had I had two numbers for you, I guess. I had Florida Profit Hunter, and then it just came up when you texted me, FPH YouTube. That's crazy. So you're already in there. I guess I just sent the shit to the wrong place. Oh, well. Now I know. So let me do this now, uh, FPH. Let me go to my, let me go to, um, to my phone book contacts. Let's go down to the F's, F and F and F and. So FPH YouTube is the good one. Florida Profit Hunter is not good. 813, that's gone, right? All right, so we need to delete. Move to trash. Yep, all right. So now the only one I have for you is 727, correct? We were gambling before we knew what gambling was, like our first breath. FPH, that might be like the most hypothetical thing or like smartest thing I've ever heard you say, bro. That's pretty cool. I'll give you that one. I like that one. Pretty cool. All right, we're in like flying. Good. Gee, I see flies on my screen. I'm going to go clean this boat, get something to eat, go to bed. I'll find you in the morning. You got it, brother. Have a good one, Billy. Go get some rest, man. Well-deserved rest, brother. That's right, Mary. Life is a big gamble every day. Yep. Hey, get some well-needed rest, brother. Clean the boat, nice shower, eat, hit that bed, fucking get it. It's the best sleep in the world, man. To take Miko Wallace now. Pretty witty. I'm about to take Miko Wallace now. I don't know what that means. I don't understand you ladies, what you all are talking about. I got to shave. I look like shit. Look at this. I look like a dirt bag. I got to shave, and I'm going to shave my head, too. I just shaved my head, man. This freaking shit got long. Quick. I'm going to do it probably tomorrow. We don't know what life throws our way. No, we don't. No, we don't. Scat. No, we don't, sir. This is true. Good night, brother. <clears throat> See you in the morning. I meant his wallet. No. I don't know what that means either. I just don't know what y'all are talking about, really. I don't know. For the what ifs, well, I, I'm going through the what ifs now. Pretty witty, and it sucks, it really does. But never know what we're going to have to endure. That's true. All right, this is getting super sad right now, Mary. You all are like making me sad now. I'm going through some crazy shit here in my life, and I hate it. I hate it. It's such a beautiful day today. But I know tomorrow I could feel like total shit. You know what I mean? And I, that's why I'm done. I'm sick of it. But I'm not going to lose my shit. I'll be all right. I'm just so happy today. I just wish everything could be like that now. But it's not. I know the name. I just don't know who he is. I, I never formally introduced I, I know the name. I've heard it before. I've heard other channels mention them, but I've never been to their channel. I don't really know who they are now. 
And about our Yankees, nine and two. Wow, nine and two already. That's crazy. That is crazy. I saw one game, and that was like the third game of the season. And it's already how many games? Eleven. Wow, that's crazy. Nine and two, great start. They need to keep it up. <clears throat> I gotta shut that window, man. I gotta shut the window. Uh, get a little nippy in here. I know it's probably 70 degrees outside, but it's chilly down here. I wish I had a thermometer. I gotta get one just to see what the temperature is down here all the time. It's always so cool. I just don't like having that window open anyway. I have the one in the bedroom open most of the time. Most of the time at night I do anyway. It's stuffy. I don't like stuffy. I don't like stuffiness in the bedroom. All right, Karina, just so you know that for the future, I don't like stuffiness in the bedroom. Okay. Uh, hello, Gerald and chat. D-Man Raid. I got the D-Man Raid from the D-Man himself. Thanks, brother. What's going on, D-Man? What's happening, bro? Yes, it's all about the what-ifs, but we have to stay positive in life. Yes, we do. Yep. You all be safe. You all be safe now. You hear? Take care, Florida Prophet Hunter. Have a good night. You hear? See you later, brother. Be good, man. Have a good night. Go get those tickets. Hurry up. Uh, text me later. You got it, bro. Be good, man. Have a good night. Enjoy. Be happy. Don't do don't do what I do. Yeah, man. So it's, it's a tough day for a D man. I better get this grass cut before my girlfriend shows up or I'll be sleeping on the couch tonight. I don't want that. No, we don't. All right, man. Go cut the grass. I'll catch you in the morning, bro. Yeah, I'm going to get off of here too in about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to go make something for dinner and then I'm going to go watch that movie that uh, Billy told me about. I'm going to go chill out the rest of the night. <laughs> Believe it or not, I had fun, but uh, it took took a uh, you know took the energy out of me so I'm, I'm done for the night now i'm gonna go i'm gonna chill out and get in bed and just lounge out for the rest of the night and relax mm -hmm. mm. Oh, man. Much love, brother. See you tomorrow. You got it, Stephen. Be good, man. Shout out to the 10 people in the chat. 16 thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Wasn't expecting a whole lot from this live, but I, it came out pretty good. I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out for a little while. I really do. It means a lot to me. You guys know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty... How have you been today, Joe? I'm all right, man. I was telling you before I went fishing. I'm I'm pretty spent now, though. I'm going to uh, have some dinner and just probably take a shower and hit the sack, man. Hit the bed, not go to sleep, just lay there, you know. Gotta watch a movie that uh, Billy was telling me about. It's an old Jerry Lewis movie. I'm gonna go check it out. Watch that. I'll be I'll, I'll be on YouTube. You know, I'll be watching YouTube and stuff. But uh, try to go to bed early tonight. I want to get up tomorrow, and I got to do some stuff around here. No, nah, we didn't catch anything. I had one good bite. That was it on the hot dog. Not even a good bite. It was like a bink, and that was it. Didn't hit again. We were only there for an hour and a half, hour, 45 minutes, something like that. It was enough, though. It was time to go because my dad was starting to bring in his stuff in, all his rods. And I was like, oh, you want to go? He's like, yeah. Hey. And when you're ready, I said, I'm ready. I was hungry. I wanted to come home and eat lunch. I'm so used to eating lunch at a certain time now, so I was just kind of hungry. Yeah. Pretty much it. Yeah, we all are, D-Man. We got you, bro, today. Let's see. How many do you see? 18. 
I see 17, but I'll take 18. I see 11 people in 17. 18 is good. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I'm pretty wiped out for the day. You know, you're not used to, you're not used to really doing much during the day. It's, uh, he would always fish it. I was just sitting there, but still, you know, I was out of my element, you know, out in the, out in the fresh air. It beats, makes me feel good too. You know, like breathing fresh air. It makes you tired. It makes me tired anyway. Every time I go fishing in the summertime, we pop usually we're there three, four hours, you know, drinking beers, whatever. Can't drink now. But you get done, you go, hold on, I'm out, dude. I'm like usually ready for bed. I'm not saying like that now. I'm saying I'm it, it just you know, first time I've been went fishing since last year. I'm I'm kinda like uh Yeah. It helps. It just it's seven yawning. It's four thirty in the afternoon, you know. Oh well, yeah, I was, you know, it's, I was just going to ask him that too. I, I want to ask him that in his live. I totally forgot though. Are you, are you working today or no? Yeah, thanks, Stephen. Appreciate that, bro. I'm glad I got to go too, man. It's going to be another week or two before I go again, I'm sure, because the weather's going to be bad. It's going to supposed to rain the next couple of days, and that means the river's going to be up again. So. It's tough. It was tough fishing today. I can't imagine three more days of rain. It'd just be raging. That's when you go fishing from the from the YouTube. Fish from the couch. Watch YouTube fishing. Now I have to go because it's not supposed to rain anymore. So I'm going in. All right, okay. Fishing ID. Oh, wow. Fishing license and stuff? Yeah. I didn't get a fishing license yet. Where I fish, you don't really need it down there. You know, like, far as, like, you know, when I go to the rivers and stuff, yeah. Then I um, then I want to make sure I have my license in the, obviously. I've always gotten my license in the trout stamp. Almost every year I've been alive. But, um, no, I just go down a river down there. Technically, I could probably get a fine, technically. But I've never, all the years I fished there my whole entire life, nobody's ever came there and be like, oh, could I see your fishing uh, badge, please? Never. It's just uh, nobody cares about that river, to be honest. I need to go get my idea. I need to go this year. Yeah. Now I have to go because it's, oh, you said it's because it stopped raining? <sighs> my goodness. Can't stop yawning now. Yawned once, now it's over. I'm done. <clears throat> Everywhere here to go fishing is near a state park, so they watch them like a hawk. Yeah, I bet. Like I said, it's just it's the river that it is. You know, it's just a it's a great river to fish. Don't get me wrong, but it's a uh, you're not keeping any fish. There's no harm of people like poaching and stuff there. It's, it's just a, it's dirty river, you know. It's good, good. Like I said, good place to fish. You catch fish all the time, but it's not. You're not going to eat them from there, you know what I mean? So it's not like a take and put kind of place where you need a game warden, you know, going. Oh, I need to see your license. So are you keeping any uh, catfish today? No. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to happen there. It's, like I said, my dad has been fishing there since he's about. My, my grandfather used to take him to that same spot when he was like five years old. My dad's 71, 72. That's so many years. Like, and we've not, one time a warden actually came down there and I wasn't there. My dad said he showed up because there was a bunch of kids fishing there. And I think one of the people that lived like down the block, because it's, it's behind a company. So you're not even, you're not near houses, but there's houses like kind of like down the block that live on the river. And you have a bunch of kids in the far corner closer to where those houses are. And they were all loud and drinking beers and throwing cans of shit everywhere. So they probably called up the uh, the local, whatever, you know what I mean? And they sent the game warning or whatever. They came over. My dad said they came over and uh, they just asked, you know, my dad had his license at the time, whatever. They didn't they didn't bust no balls, but it's like, it's like, that's what always happens. You know, you get a place like that where you don't have to worry. And then you get kids that ruin it. You know what I mean? They're down there hanging out with all their friends, smoking weed, throwing fucking bottles and shit, and just leaving garbage everywhere. It's just stupid, you know? Not the best river in the world, but why ruin it even worse just for being an idiot? It's stupid. 
We don't. Shit, we take all that shit out. We leave it. We leave it cleaner than when we get there. It's just what you're supposed to do. As a responsible angler, that's what you do. You clean up better than when you got there. I wouldn't need a fishing license because I won't catch fish. <laughs> That's funny. Thanks, pretty and risky. My dad had Alzheimer's and my mom had early stages of dementia. I'm not sure, though. Those game wardens can be a stickler sometimes. Yeah, I've, I've met a bunch of them through the years uh, where I trout fish, and they were all very, very nice, man. They're all outdoorsy guys, hunters, fishermen themselves, and they just, you know, they got to do their job. And when we're out there, you know, and, you know, it's all like, a lot of it's state land, you know, is it, people hunt out there where I, where I go trout fishing in a lot of these rivers. It's, it's very serene, you know, it's quiet and it's out in the boonies, you know what I mean? It's not in the city. Like, I'm not, I don't even say I'm the city where I live, but it's way more city than out there. You know, it's an hour from my house, hour and a half, whatever, into the woods. And it's, uh, it's more pristine. It's nice. And you want, you want those guys there. You, you know, you really do because you get idiots that go up there and, they want to go freaking start a, po a party or, you know, in the middle of the woods and they start fires. And next thing you know, you get the whole forest caught up in a fire, you know, forest fire. And it's just idiots. You hear stories about it all the time. You know, it's just idiots out there, man. It's stupid. So, you, you know, you want them guys out there, those, those park rangers and stuff. They're all like ex-military guys too and full of respect and they want you to respect them back and, you know, just do the right thing. That's all, that's all they ask is just do the right thing. You know, treat nature the way it should be treated or don't be out there. It's true. They'll give you fines, and you can get locked up, man. They will lock your ass up, I'm telling you. Okay, peeps, I'm out. Stay safe. Be blessed. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. You got it, Mary. Have a good night, honey. Thank you for being here. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna jump off here, too, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm ready to I'm ready to call it. I'm calling it a day here, folks. I'm calling it a YouTube day. Well, me being live, anyway. I'm going to call it a day, folks. I'm going to end this right now. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little while. I appreciate it. Uh, we do this every day, 10 a.m. and 3.30 in the afternoon. So if you're around, come hang out with us. We do exactly what we did here today. We come in and we yap and bullshit about everything. Topics on the TV, topics on the news, topics in your life, uh, whatever. All that happy jazz. So enjoy the rest of your night. I appreciate you guys. Much love. Catch you on the flip. Later, y'all.